Hello y'all, I'm Nancy of Nancy's Notions and welcome to my channel. I'm a part-time reseller of pre-loved items. I sell on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. I hope you enjoy these videos. I uh, will show you what I bought, what I sold, and how much I sold it for. Thanks for watching. All right, um, these are some items that I got at an estate sale I went to the weekend of the 13th. I don't remember the 13th is Saturday or Sunday, but that's the weekend I went. Um, I also bought two blankets. Uh, one we kept for ourselves and the other I'll just put up a screenshot of. It's kind of the wool blend with the silky edge and it's a brown plaid with a red edge on it. And um, I paid $4 for that. So, um, and then I got these items. Um, the first is this little pitcher, like a milk pitcher or cream pitcher, I guess. It's not really big. Um, I paid $4.50. It is uh, Odegiri, uh designed by Mary Ann Baker. And I thought it was really pretty. I think these might be either wild roses or I don't think they're dogwoods. I think there's too many petals for dogwoods. But I'll find out uh, when I look up this design, I'm sure. And I'll put comps up on the screen. I got some books. Uh, this one is still in its little box and it's uh, Steps to Christ for a Sanctified Life. And it's just a little book. It does have an inscription on the inside um, where somebody had gifted it in 2003. Uh, but it looks like this has a publication date of 1965. I don't see any other dates on there. So, but it also has an ISBN number. So it's probably later than that, this actual um, printing. So, and then this one is uh, 365 Devotions, Jesus, Our Perfect Hope by Charles F. Stanley. I just thought it was a really pretty book. This one has not been written in, so that's good. Um, this one is dated 2018, so. And then the last one, the Bible Background Commentary for the New Testament by Craig S. Keener. This one doesn't even sound like it's been opened very much. And the date on it is 1993. So I do pretty good with the spiritual books. So if I find some nice ones, I will usually pick them up. Oh, I don't, I think the books were $2 a piece. So those would have been a dollar a piece. And then I found this nice rooster tile in the kitchen and he would have been a dollar fifty. It does have a stamp on the back, which is almost impossible to read. I don't even know if I've right side up. Yeah, I can't read that. So <laughs> that'll take a little research. But I thought he was really cool. I kind of like that um, the muted colors. And then we got this uh, black glass. I'm gonna guess this is a butter dish although it's very fancy. Um, it would have been $7.50. I'm not sure who the maker of this glass is. Um, it doesn't have a mark on it, so it could be. Hopefully, I'll find it. Oh, that's pretty cool that it's textured on the bottom like it is on the side. But I thought it was really pretty uh, black glass dish, so I got that. And then the last thing uh, was this little wooden chicken game. I don't think I've seen one of these since I was a kid. So it would have been $2.50. My mother was an artist and we did a lot of arts and craft shows when I was a kid. And I'm pretty sure I probably had a lot of these. All these little wooden toys, the Jacob's ladders, all of that. So this one you swirl the pendulum around and it makes the chickens peck. So I, this was mostly out of nostalgia, but hopefully someone else will love it and uh, will want to buy it. I do notice that one of the strings has come 
loose from the little pendulum, but that's not a big deal. We can just tie it back on there. That's all the things that I got at that estate sale. Um, they had a lot of stuff there, but just not really anything that interested me. So it was a little disappointing. It's the first estate sale that I've been to in a little while. So hopefully as the weather warms up, we'll get some more um, better estate sales. So I hope everybody else is having a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions here in not so frigid Southeast Tennessee. It is currently 40 degrees and we're starting to thaw out. But since it's been so cold, I haven't um, filmed any of my sales. Um, it's just <laughs> the less time I had to spend in the shop when it was 20 degrees or less, the better. So um, I am just gonna put up screenshots, but I will go through them. I don't remember which day I sold these on, uh, but um, I will list off the prices. Um, I think the last time I filmed was Sunday or Monday. Uh, so these would be sales from Tuesday through today, which is Thursday, January the 19th. So um, on Poshmark, we sold a pair of vintage hat boxes. I paid $3 for those at Goodwill and they sold for $42. So that was a pretty good sale. Um, on Macari, I sold a little plush, a tie, beanie buddy, and a little dog, and his name was Perkins, and he wasn't in the best of shape. He'd been well loved. Um, I paid a dollar for him, and he sold for 10. Had a brief moment of panic when I saw that, because I thought that he had already sold, uh, but I went back and looked, and somebody had purchased him on Etsy, I don't know, a couple of months ago. And then they asked to cancel because it was bigger than they thought. So <laughs> panic averted. Um, let's see. And then we had one Etsy sale and it was a lot of 100 Scrabble tiles. It was a complete set from a 1982 Scrabble game. And I listed the tiles and then I'll list the um, the little tray holders once I get, I don't know, eight or 10 of those, I'll list those, uh, but I think I paid $4 for the whole game, and uh, so I put $2 buy cost for the tiles, and they sold for 10, and those are plus shipping, and then on eBay, um, we sold a little metal and um, a little metal Chinese fan, and it had a pretty nice tassel on it with an intricate knot. And I paid a dollar for that at an estate sale and it sold for $8. And all of my eBay sales are plus shipping. Um, our little ceramic Enarco uh, nuns, a set of four, I paid $4 for those and they sold for 17. An instruction sheet from a Lionel train set. Um, we had bought a lot of uh, Lionel train cars and tracks and the instructions were in there. So I think we paid $80 for the lot. So I just divided by how many pieces I had. Uh, so this was, I think I made 22 cents based on this buy cost of $5 and 72 cents and they sold for $8. And then we sold a Scooby inflatable. It was a happy birthday Scooby-Doo, just a sitting Scooby-Doo and he had a, ha a little banner on that said happy birthday. I paid a dollar for him, I think at a thrift store. I've had him for a long time, uh, but he sold for $39.98 and he did work. The picture on my listing shows him all blown up. So, and then um, we sold a, a Christmas ornament or just a, a glass, a blown glass ornament. That was a narwhal. I paid 56 cents. I bought a whole box of ocean themed ornaments at a yard sale. Uh, I think it was $5, so it was about 56 cents a piece. And he sold for 10. And a little um, art glass rooster, I paid a dollar for him at an estate sale and he sold for $14.39. And 
and then the vintage ladies travel shoes uh, that I got at the Samaritan Center a while back for $2. They sold for $32. And then the two things that I just shipped out were um, a Harley Davidson Mead binder. And that's one of the things that I go halves in with my friend from work. It sold for $21, I believe. And um, what was the other thing? Oh, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man that I bought off a Dib Dit auction, uh, I don't know, right before Christmas. I didn't make any money off of it. Um, he sold for $15, and I think my total buy cost, including shipping for him, was $17. Um, but I did support another seller. I think I got him from um, uh, Rob Picking and Punching out of Florida. I think that's who I bought it from. So, you know, basically broke even um, on him, or maybe I lost a couple dollars. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It was fun to buy. It was fun to sell. So, <laughs> um, that's all the sales that I've had this week. And I haven't listed a whole lot just because I kind of didn't want to get a lot of sales. It's just been too cold. So, but this time next week is supposed to be 65. <laughs> so, I'm ready for that. Um, it's still, I mean, we still have a little bit of ice. I'm about 30 minutes north of Chattanooga. So, um, we did freeze up pretty good on Tuesday. We, my work closed, so I didn't go to my day job. Um, and then I went in yesterday, we opened late. So, uh, but there are a lot of people that I work with that live in more rural areas um, that still, you know, had a... <laughs> A difficult time getting here today or getting to work today or didn't get here at all so I'm thankful that um, well I'm not always thankful that I live in the city at this time I'm thankful I live in the city and um, that this is over with and it's warming up and hopefully all this ice will be gone soon so hope everybody else is having a great week and we'll see you next time bye bye welcome back y'all Nancy from Nancy's notions it is Thursday, January the 18th. I think I did a video earlier today and I think I said it was the 19th, but it's the 18th. <laughs> and I have six sales today, uh, all of them on eBay. I'm going to show those to you now. It's been a while since I've done this because it's just been too cold to be out here for any length of time. And we warmed up today to 40 degrees. And although it's not balmy outside, it is more than 20. So <laughs> I'm thankful for that. Let's take a look at these sales. So we have uh, first this, uh, well, that wasn't as heavy as I thought. Um, this is a Winfield, California, and that's not my phone. It's just blurry on the back. Um, dinner plate. I can't remember the name of this pattern, but I had three of these and I just sell them individually. Um, although someone can choose to buy more than one if they like, but this is the last one. I paid 99 cents for this plate and it sold on offer for $9.58. And then I have a Beretta um, gun box. And it does have the paperwork inside for a Beretta, nine millimeter. I don't know anything about guns. So we just have these empty boxes that someone gave us. Um, so zero buy cost and uh, it sold for $13. Someone sent me an offer of 13. I think I had listed for 17. It's not in the like pristine shape on the outside. Although the inside looks nice. You can tell I'm a little out of practice. <laughs> and then it has, like I said, the paperwork and it is Beretta branded, so. And then we sold this uh, book. It's the Velveteen Rabbit and it's an old library book. And I got this at an estate sale for a dollar. This one has really, there's the stamp from the library. Um, but I've loved the pictures in these. They're just, 
I don't know, just, they used all the same colors, you know, and just plated them over and over. But I just like the pictures in this style of, the, or this style of pictures. Um, it really wasn't worth that much. It sold for $8, but the Velveteen Rabbit, if you find that book and just, they always sell. People love that story, so. And then we sold this tulip lamp and it has a little cherub sitting on a ivy leaf up there and it does work and I got this at an estate sale for five dollars and it sold for twenty nine dollars and then this uh, vintage paper towel um, dispenser uh, and it has no key and that was specified and you know it's it's a little, it probably came out of a gas station somewhere or a mechanic shop or something. Um, I paid $3 for it at an estate sale and it sold for $30. And then our last sale today is this red, um, it's just from World Market. So it's a modern um, enameled, metal enameled coffee pot. It doesn't have the lid and if it came with any innards, which probably didn't, uh, doesn't have those either. These came from the firehouse, not fireman firehouse, but a house that had caught on fire <laughs> that we helped clean out. So zero buy costs on it and it sold for $8. And all of these items are plus shipping. That's all the sales that I have going out today. Um, it They're not, uh, I mean, most of them aren't high dollar items, but I am surprised that I did get this many sales seeing that I haven't listed anything or maybe just like one or two things a day. I don't think I listed anything last night. Um, yeah, no, I didn't. I sent out some offers, but I didn't list anything. So I'm pleased that I got these. I hope everybody else is having a great week and I hope we have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay, here's a small Goodwill haul from weekend before last. So today is um, January the 22nd. So whatever, not just this past weekend, but the one before that. Um, and I just got a handful of things. So I'm going to show these to you now so I can go ahead and get them processed and get them listed. It is finally warm enough for me to do something out here without freezing to death. Um, first we've got this, and I'm pretty sure, I think he's a resin elephant. Um, he was $4.99. Let's see what's under the sticker. He is a ceramic elephant, um, made by Linux, 1992 African elephant. Um, our big Goodwill, these came from our big Goodwill. Our town only has two, the little one and the big one. And uh, they used to not care if you picked through the cart, you know, when they brought it out. Um, but now they make an announcement when the cart comes out and ask you not to bother the things until the attendant has time to put them away. So I saw there were a few elephants on the cart and um, me and another lady were kind of being creeps, you know, and hanging around, waiting for him to put them on the shelf. And I um, got there before she did. The other one was a large leather elephant and he was really nice, except he didn't have any tusks. Um, so I passed on him, but I did get this one and he's very well done. And I'm glad to see that he's a Linux. So hopefully he'll be worth what I paid for him. Um, the next thing I got were these two, these are uh, glass, maybe, um, ornaments, and they're both dated 2012. Uh, this one has little owls on it and says, Happy Holidays, and they both have these nice little boxes. And then this one has snowmen, little bird houses, and it is also dated 2012. Yeah, there it is. Uh, there was a third one in a green box, but I didn't get it because it was missing the little top. But these are, let me rotate it, oh, don't mess it up. 
these are Pier 1. Uh, this one actually has someone's name on it. Um, and they were $2.99 a piece, I think. Or she might have just charged me $2.99 for both of them. I'm not sure. Um, does it have a date? I don't see a date on there. <clears throat> but I thought they were nice that they were still in their boxes. And I usually have pretty good luck with um, things from Pier 1. So I picked those up. And then two plushies. The first one is this black and white horse and he has green feet and I thought that was just interesting enough to pick him up. He is a Commonwealth brand which is a good brand of plush. Um, 2002 I think. So I picked him up and then this one is a vintage uh, Fisher Price from 1993 and he's just like a little he's just a little dog and since neither one of these had um, specialty tags on them they would have been 99 cents a piece so I picked those two up I did get a couple of more things in that same Goodwill haul I got this uh, animatronic Yoda. He is missing his lightsaber and he was $11, but he does work. Let me turn him on. Ready your mind. The force you must learn. I don't know how you make him do things. Yoda. Talk to me, Yoda. Well, anyway, he does things. I don't know how you make him do the things. Mm. Oh. The force is with you, young Padawan. Maybe he just does what he wants. It has little sensors here, and I'm sure somewhere on the internet are some kind of instructions or a YouTube video but I got him. I'm going to turn him off now. And then the other thing I got was this um, intermission designed by Rosie Thorne 88 exclusive for Illumicrate. So it's like, I think it's like a, a loot crate. It's a mug. It was $1.99. And it was still in the box so was mainly the only reason that I got it. I don't, I didn't look it up. Um, the Rise and Fall of Sanctuary Moon. It's got a little space scene there. And then out the window. Um, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. And it just says Illumicrate on the bottom. So I'll put up comps for these. Um, again, I didn't even look that one up. I just basically got it because it was fairly cheap and still in the box. So. I'm pretty sure that's all that I got at that Goodwill haul. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this Goodwill haul clip one and two. Welcome back, y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions. Uh, and yes, it's still cold. I'm still steaming when I talk. I do have my heater on. It just takes a minute to warm up in here. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and get my what's olds out of the way. These are, let's see, it is Sunday, January the um, 21st, I believe. And these are sales from Friday, Saturday, and today. Let's take a look. All right, so we have uh, six sales, well, um, seven, eight sales altogether. One of them I'm still waiting on payment. 
but I'll go ahead and show it to you. All right, um, so we have uh, seven sales on eBay and one on Macari. Uh, the first eBay sale is another one of these um, uh, pistol carrying cases. This one is American Classic by Metro Arms. And we have zero buy cost on that, and it sold for $20, and all of my eBay sales are plus shipping. Uh, second, we have this pair of Easy Spirit, this little loafers. These were my personal shoes. Um, I bought them for a Halloween outfit, and then they're not the kind of shoe that I would wear normally, so I just put them up for sale. I got them at Goodwill. I don't know what I paid for them. It was probably like $3.99 or $4.99. Um, they sold for $10. And then we have two. This is uh, Stangle Pottery. And this is the Town & Country pattern. It's a blue sponge wear. And, well, that's kind of hard to see the... Um, there's the mark on the back. Um, and it does have, most Stangle will have the name of the pattern. And then it has Stangle in a circle. Um, and it's out of New Jersey and hand painted. So these are, um, I listed them as a quantity of two. I bought a set, I don't know, it's probably been almost two years ago now. Um, I went into the Goodwill one day and they had like three sets of Stangle. And even though it doesn't really sell that well, I cannot resist it, so I buy it if it's in good shape. And But this town and country pattern, usually their pottery um, is like, has a brown interior or the plates have like a brown back and then the, the surface is white or cream colored and it has uh, florals on it. Um, but this town and country, this blue sponge wear pattern, it sold pretty good. Um, I had a couple of sets of cups and saucers, and I think the only thing I have left after this is um, a large serving plate. So, it did pretty good, and I just sold it by the piece like this. Um, so, uh, these sold together for... $21.56. I do have a discount in place if they buy more than one. Um, and then I paid about $2, about a dollar a plate for this, for these saucers. And then um, we sold this little Nativity Angel. This is the ones that um, are like a plaster. And um, some of them were marked and I could verify that they were Fontanini and then the other ones were not. Uh, this is the one, one of the ones that was not. I paid 31 cents for this. It came in a big lot of nativity pieces and she sold for $8.50. And then we sold this, uh, Haley's Bible handbook and I got this at an estate sale for $2.25. And it's over seventeen dollars. Uh, the Haley's. Uh, this is like the third one of these I've sold. So, this one I think is from nineteen sixty-five. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's nineteen sixty-five. And then our last. Oh, and I just got a notification that they paid for this. So this is just a glass um, starfish or sea star plate and it is textured on the bottom and then smooth on the inside. I don't know right off hand what I paid for it, probably maybe two or three dollars. And I took an offer of twelve. So twelve dollars plus shipping. And then our last eBay sale, frankly plastic sounds ahead. I didn't want him to get dusty because it's he's hard to clean. Um, this is a resin um, let me take it out of the plastic now. As a resin figurine of a cat, black and white cat, nose to nose with a frog. And I got this at the Samaritan Center um, maybe close to a year ago, and I paid $15 for him. But he's uh, fairly large. When I was researching this, most of the ones I saw were small. And then it's called...
a breed apart and this one is kitten with frog does have um i mean they're made in china but it's coin and comp coins and company um so i listed him at 150 dollars uh just based on other large figurines by this company and um friday night i got an offer of 130 so I went ahead and took that. And I can see why they offered 130 because it is going to California. So the shipping will be quite high. He is a hefty piece. He, he probably weighs almost three pounds just by himself. And then our one uh, Macari sale is this glass, green glass fish bottle. And it's not marked. It may even be a more modern piece. Maybe it might be Indiana glass. I found a bunch of different ones and they were, um, had different descriptions and different makers. So I don't think I even put a maker on it. I just did green glass, fish bottle, decanter. And I paid $5 for him at a little um, thrift store, one of those little hidden places that you live somewhere 12 years and then you finally find it. Um, and he, let's see, he sold for $28. Uh, this is free shipping on Macari, so I'll get my label off Pirate Ship. Um, I don't remember right off hand where he's going, but it'll probably be anywhere from, we'll say five to $8 to ship him. Cause he'll, he'll packed up, he'll weigh about two pounds, so. That's all the sales that I have to go over at the moment. Um, if I get any additional sales this evening, I will tack them on. Hope everybody else is having a great weekend. Um, I did do some shopping, so there's some hauls that I can show you. And um, I hope you're staying warm. <laughs> Kudos to anyone who lives north of Tennessee and 20 degrees during the day for Two weeks at a time is normal in your winter. I cannot handle it. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> this is too much for us. I can't. <laughs> I just want to be warm. My, it never gets warm in the head. It doesn't matter how high we turn up the heat. It's still just all the corners are cold and your feet are cold and the couch is cold. And I'll stop complaining about the weather now. Um, Tonight, the low is 20, which is better than 9. And I think tomorrow the high is in the 40s. So, yay. I'll be glad to say. I was glad to see 40 degrees last week. I'll be glad to see 40 degrees tomorrow. Hope everybody else is having a great weekend, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions, and I have another What's Old clip for you. It's not much of a what's old clip. There's only two items, but <laughs> things did sell. So it is um, Tuesday, January the 22nd. Let's take a look. All right, on Poshmark, we sold this. Um, this is a briar. It is a briar, yeah. This is a briar horse, um, Goliaths boy I think is what he's called and um, I've had him listed I think since April I paid a dollar for him and he sold for $12 and then um, on eBay this t-shirt I'll put up a screenshot it's from a local restaurant it's called the Cajun ladies Cajun ladies I think um, I paid two dollars for it I think at Goodwill um, and it sold for $15 plus shipping. That's the only two sales that I have going out today. I hope everybody else is having a great week. Hello, y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions. I wanted to thank you for watching, and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again next week with another video. Bye-bye.